Okay, so we have a lot to do with mode, median, and mean, range. So we're given these numbers and they're not in order. So the first step for us is to kind of put them in order, you know, from lowest to biggest. So 15, right? Mm -hmm. And then 17, and then 23, and then 25, and then 30. And then what we do is we're going to translate those over into the graph. All right? So that was the easy part. Now we're going to add these up. And when we add those up, that's actually sigma x. So you're adding each one. You're saying 15 plus 17 plus 23 plus 25 plus 30. And that equals 110. And that's actually the sum of the x's. And that's all you're doing, the sum of the x's, right? And so um, our next step is to talk about the range. Well, the range is really simple. The range is the highest subtracted by the lowest, right? And that equals 15. So the range is 15. So that was pretty easy, yeah? And then we can talk about the mode. And there is no mode. The reason why there's no mode is because none of them copy. So if there was two 15s, 15 would be the mode because it came up the most. But when nothing comes up the most, now if they're all in there once, then there is no mode, right? But let's say you had 25 numbers and 8 came up 3 times, and uh, 16 came up 3 times, then you would have 2 modes, 8 and 16. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, so what, what we have right now is no mode. None. But we do have a median. Now, the median is really <laughs> easy. It's finding the middle number. So we go into, and go into, and so 23, is our middle number. Does that make sense? We're just coming in. Now, if there were two numbers in the middle, then we would find the mean of those two numbers. Right? We'd add them up, divide by two. Okay? But if there's an odd amount of numbers, it's always just the middle number. Boom, that's the median. Okay? And the mean, well, that's when we take the sum of the number, or the sum of the x's, and we divide by the number of numbers. So we need to know what n is. n is how many times, or how many numbers we have, how many x's. And so in this case, we have five x's, right? Mm -hmm. So n is five, okay? And so the big n is equal to the little n, and so what we do is, this is the sample in, so this one's the sample, and this one is the population, okay? So the capital N is pop for population, and, this, and the, the smaller case N is for sample. And if we're going to find the mean, then we need to take the 110, and we divide it by 5. Alright? And when you do that, what do you get? You did better than me. Alright, good. I didn't push all the numbers. So, 22 is correct, so that would equal 22. Okay? And so, the, the mean and the mu are the same thing, okay? So mean and mu are the same thing. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, so that means that the mu and mean is 22.
too. And that's really important. So we're going to put a square around that. Okay? So just like we, it's very important to know that the sum of the x is equal to 110. So we should put a, a box around that. Okay? Because um, we're going to use those. See? We have the sum of the x. We use that. Okay? We're, we will use the mu in our sample, and, and I mean in our population part. All right, so let's get back to the basics. Now we got to start filling in our chart. And our chart is set up based on what our formulas are, okay? So I kind of uh, developed this chart on my own. So it's my own kind of method to doing this problem. Um, it's not in the book. But I find that this is the easiest way. So I always try to make things easy. So all you do is square each one of these. That's it. So 15 squared, uh, what is that, 225, right? And 17 squared, isn't that 289? Can you double check that for me? 17 squared? Yeah. 289. Perfect. And then 23 squared, I know 25 squared is 625, right? Yes. And 30 squared is 900. And 23 squared, that's the one I, I cannot remember. That's 529. 529? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. So we got all those numbers correct, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want to mess that up. All right. So now you're going to take all those numbers, okay, and define x squared, the sum of x squared, right? What we have to do, okay, we're going to do that in purple. The sum of x squared is equal to 225 plus 289 plus 225. 29 plus 625 plus 900, and that should equal 2568. Is that correct? Okay, so 25.68, we're on it, all right? So, next step. Um, now we're going to start talking about sample variance versus sample standard deviation, okay? So we're going to start using what we, use, what we found inside of it, okay? You'll notice that the sum of the x's is right here. The sum of the x's squared is different, right? That's this one, okay? So we're gonna just plug those numbers in. So the sum of the x's squared is in purple, right? So that's 25, you want me to take roll, but I can't yet, because you know, I'm actually teaching. So, and then minus the sum of the x, which is Oops, the sum of the x squared, okay, which is 110 squared divided by n, and n is 5, all over n, or sorry, 5 minus so minus 1, because that's part of the formula, just minus 1 is part of the formula, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so when we do this math, right, we want to make sure that we do the square first. Then we divide by 5, right? And then we can subtract it from that. Now if you plug it in your calculator this way, it should be follow the rules of um, 
of uh, what are the rules? Impasse. So the order of operations. So when we do that, we're going to get thirty-seven. Correct. So that's what S squared is going to equal. You should get 37. So double check, right? Now here's the cool part. This is the same. All we're doing with the sample standard deviation is taking the square root. So S is equal to the square root of 37. So S is going to equal Six point oh eight. In fact, six point oh eight two seven six two five three. Now, in your book, they round it. In your book, they round it. So what they're going to do is they're going to say S is equal to 6.08. So you have S and S squared. Okay? So sample variance and sample standard deviation. Alright? Now, we're going to work on population. Now when we start talking about population, We're starting to talk about mu, okay, uh, sigma. So let's just give a little bit of a background on sigma and mu. Okay, so sigma is the E looking letter, uh, Greek letter. Uh, so everything's in Greek when you get to population. In standard deviation, it's in standard, uh, I mean, sorry, in sample. It's all in standard uh, letters. But in population, we're going to use uh, Greek letters. So we have two Greek letters that we need to learn. One is mu, and the other one is sigma. So this little guy is sigma also. So it's a little k sigma. This is the capital sigma. All right? And so uh, that's it. So we're going to start plugging in those numbers. So now, in order to do this, we want to kind of think about this problem. So, we know what mu is, right? So mu is 22. So we could, if you want, put that up there in orange. No. Well, orange is used. Well, everything's used. But we'll just, for fun, we're going to go down here and say that uh, x bar and mu are going to be right here, and that's going to be 22, right? Okay? So we're going to use 22 for mu. All right? And so here we want to think, well, what is x? minus 22. So this is really x minus 22. Okay? So it's going to be, so we're going to do 15 minus 22. Then we're going to do 17 minus 22. Then we're going to do uh, 23 minus 22. Then we're going to do 25 minus 22. Then we're going to do 30 minus 22. We're going to find this to be negative 7. We're going to find this to be negative 5. We're going to find this to be 1. We're going to find this to be 3 and this to be 8. Does that make sense? 
So now we got negative 7, negative 5, 1, 3, and 8. That's the one I messed up on. So, okay, so then we're gonna take these numbers, right? We're gonna take these numbers and we're gonna square them. Right? Is it still filming? Yes, it is. Okay. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so. We are going to um, square this, 49, square this, 25, square this, 1, square this, 9, square this, 64. And then we're going to plug those numbers in. 49, 25, 1, 9, and 64. Okay? And then we finally get to this last piece right here, which is the sum of the squares. So now, we're gonna take these and we're gonna add them. That's it. The sum of the x minus, let's give that a little more space. The sum of the x minus mu squared, right? Is, so you have to do this, then square it, then find the, then add it up, okay? And when you add that up, you should get 148. Okay? So, down here, we get 148 divided by Five, and that should equal sigma squared, okay? Or the standard deviation, population standard deviation squared, okay? And so when we find that number, we get divided by 5, right, square rooted, which means I end up with 0.5. 